G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. In the past, I've made keto bread and I've actually got some more planned as well. But this one is a very quick one, very simple to make, just to whip up just for yourself and I know that you'll love it. So join me today as I make my version of keto bread in a mug. Okay, so we're going to start off with the obvious and that's our mug. Now, just like my last mug video that I put up yesterday on the keto chocolate cake in a mug recipe, which I'll leave a link at the end of the video for, my mugs are a lot bigger than the normal mugs. So I'll be upping the amount of ingredients that I'm going to be talking about and listing in the description of this video. So the ingredients I talk about will be the ingredients that you'll need for a normal size mug. So into a mug I'm going to place in one tablespoon of butter and simply place that into the microwave for about 30 seconds or so just until it's completely melted. Okay so next I'm going to use some almond flour and this is why it's so low in carbs compared to normal flour. And I had a question on my last video, if you have a nut allergy, well you can also use coconut flour. It's just got a slight extra coconut taste to it. And as you can see, it's very low in carbs. So per serving it's 5 grams, but we're not even going to be using that much. So it's going to be a lot, lot smaller. So for this whole bread in a mug, it's probably only going to be about 1 or 2 carbs. Compared to a slice of white bread, which is about 27 up to 35 grams of carbs for one slice. Okay, so as you can see, our butter is completely melted in our fantastic looking mug. So to that, I'm going to add one third of a cup of our almond flour, or if you choose, the coconut flour, then one beaten egg, then half a teaspoon of baking powder, which will help our bread rise nicely. And finally, just to enhance the flavor, just a little bit of salt, just a pinch. And just simply get in there with a teaspoon and give it a very good mix through until everything is well combined. Just try and do it as much as you can just to make sure there's no lumps. So it's definitely a no knead bread which is even better. It's just a quick and easy one to do just so you've got some, say like a little piece of bread on the side for dinner. Either for yourself or for a couple of people. Okay and that's it. That's all you have to do. It is that simple. So we're going to place this into the microwave for about 90 seconds and when you tap it on top and it springs back that means it's ready but if it doesn't put it in there for another 10 seconds at a time until you get to the same effect. Okay so it's out of the microwave and I've let it cool down for about two minutes because it does come out pretty piping hot and as you can see just by touching it it springs back nicely. Now some people like to have bread as is but you should just be able to carefully Tip it straight out like so. As you can see, it's still popping hot. And just like normal bread, we can just, with a bread knife, just slice it into some small slices like so. That can be served for any meal. And you can just butter it any way that you like. And it is honestly that simple. It has to be the easiest and quickest bread recipe you will ever make. So it really only took me about just over two minutes to prepare and make and it was ready. One of the best parts is it's incredibly low in carbs and there's no sugar involved. So it's a much healthier version. So it's not only incredibly simple, it's also incredibly fast to make. It's a last minute recipe if you don't have any bread for dinner and it's also keto friendly. But the best part is, it tastes simply delish.